Well, hello there. So it is that time again. It is time for my annual planner collection video where I show you everything I've got and how I am using them. I'm hoping this tripod situation is going to work out. I wanted to make sure that I could get everything in there. Uh, so let me just do a quick overview of it first. I have, I wasn't sure whether to include the uh, pregnancy one up there or not, because it's not a typical planner and that is not, I mean, it's not what I've done for the rest of them, which are um, all of my filofaxes, or my, basically my leather planners. But since it does have a calendar in it, I figured I couldn't leave it out. Um, but then I have all of my filofaxes and filodories, which are filofaxes that I have converted. And then down at the bottom, I have all of my Traveler's Notebooks. So we will start with the Traveler's Notebooks, and I will show you just, I'm going to do a full, I won't do a full uh, setup video, um, but just kind of show you what I'm using each of them for. And uh, we'll go from there. Please let me know if you have any questions, or if there are any that you want to see more information about. And I will try to link down below all of my setup videos that I have for these. So first here, this is a... Narrow and it's a Chic Sparrow Maverick, Maverick Golden Brown. It's the classic style. I believe this leather is discontinued now. Um, but this is my homesteading binder, and so it's a pretty simple setup in here. I have a calendar for egg production. New months. So let me go back to show other ones. So it's really simple. Just shows what color eggs, how many we got each day, so I can keep track of that. Last year I had a garden insert in here as well that was again a month on uh, two month, month on two pages, or two year month on two pages. Um, but I'm, my garden really, it got moved because we built an addition and then it just didn't, I was so sick at the beginning of this year, it just didn't get planted. So that's not happening this year. I have a folder that I made um, with some seeds and receipts and things from gardening. And then a notebook that I use for canning recipes, different jams, um, recipes using whole and local ingredients that I found that I liked. And then this is my notebook for homemade recipes. So my soap recipe, different laundry detergent recipes, um, self-care like a lip balm and ham salve, that sort of thing. That's where I have all of those written out. And then I just have a Coletto multi-pin right here. So that is my first one. It drives me nuts when a charm goes on upside down, so I always have to fix it. So next, another narrow traveler's notebook. This is Annika Hamby. This was a custom geek dory that she did for me for Outlander. Um, so we this was had it for I want to say a couple of years now. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Came with a whole set of things like the geek dories did, and uh, it is had been my journal. I have not really been journaling that much since probably mid-April when I went into my planning slump. I just got out of the habit and haven't started back up again, which is bad because I had been an everyday writer. But it's just journal. That was my last journal. This is was my most recent one that stops in April. And then I have some uh, craft. Yeah, I reused this notebook from something else. And then I have um, kind of my crafty word art thing that I haven't been doing that much in. Um, I hate to not reach for this notebook as much because I absolutely love this notebook, but I just haven't been. So that is that. Uh, another narrow, this is a confetti dory from Teddy Confetti. This is the perch print. And this is just a holding place for all um, standard size inserts. So I have past journals in here. That's what all these are. I have um, more past journals. A lot of journaling has gone on. Um, what is this one? Uh, that was a notebook that I used to take to conferences to take notes in. I have past calendar inserts from when I was planning in a standard size including one that's mostly blank. Yeah, it's just kind of a holding place for the various standard size notebooks, folders I've made, covers I've made, that sort of stuff, so that it is all in one place. So there's that. And my last standard size traveler's notebook, another Annika Hamby. This is the Appalachian Trail one. 
And this is just uh, a log for different hikes that I've done. I haven't been hiking that much lately because, again, I've been sick and dealing with this pregnancy. I'm 30 weeks now and look forward to doing some hiking with a new baby uh, this fall, hopefully. So there's that one. So next, most of these notebooks are used for one purpose or another, but there are some that have been used as main planners and aren't currently or just otherwise are sitting not empty but not really used. So this is one of them. This is another Chic Sparrow. It is a Mr. Darcy Burgundy, the Deluxe. It's gorgeous. And this was, again, just a previous notebook, um, main planner that I had. So I have inserts, folder that I made with stickers. Um, this is when I was, this is the insert that I was using when I was doing a bullet journal in a traveler's notebook. So there's that my old mood tracker and then just random bits and bobs that I had when it was my main planner. This right here is an Artori um, from Crazy Organized on Etsy and again I will link all the shops down below but this is a trifold personal size that was custom done. Um, it was my work planner until I quit my job. Uh, so currently it's not really being used um, but I was a United Methodist pastor, and so I have the cross and flame that she did for me as a very kind of stylized version. And then one of my favorite quotes from John Wesley. I had a monthly thing for notes, things for to-dos, standard sort of planner, but again, it's not being used right now. Um, I do plan to use it for something else in the future, but currently it's just sitting as it is. Next, let me get over here. Oops, sorry, I keep knocking the tripod. It's bounced on top of a container and just all sorts of in the way. So this is my current planner. I, my last video was a setup video of it, but it's my planner and wallet. So let's see what's going on there. It's typical main planner stuff. I will link down below the video that shows the in-depth setup. Ooh, knock the entire tripod. Sorry about that. And then I have my A6. This is another Chic Sparrow. I got this at the one of the grab bag sales. Um, this is a Pelican leather. It's, again, discontinued, I believe. But I think it's waterproof. It's a really nice, thick leather. It's gorgeous. And this has been my pregnancy traveler's notebook um, from my pregnancy last fall and journaling through my miscarriage and then this current pregnancy. So I have a folder in there. I have what I use to log pictures and things from each week. This is this current pregnancy. Um, ultrasound journaling. I, there are a couple of things I when I was slacking on everything else, I slacked on this as well, but I'm back to this was today's because I'm 30 weeks today. Um, back to doing it again. And then I have uh, just a journal back here for any random journaling not to do with whatever week I am. And my favorite uh, favorite fountain pen there, Twisby Mini Rose Gold. All right, so last three. These are my little traveler's notebooks. Another Chic Sparrow and Mr. Darcy. Is this, no, this is American Dream, London Fog. And I did roll this, so it's got a lot of character in there. And so this is my main field note size, pocket size, traveler's notebook. So I have a notebook that I take, I often will take it out of the uh, traveler's notebook and just take the individual notebook with me. Anytime I have a meeting or something that I want to take notes on, I've got that there. This is my kind of list book, but list that I don't necessarily need to keep forever and to reference. Like right now I'm working on my kid's birthday list. Um, I've done a lot of Christmas lists and things in there, crochet projects, recipes to try, Kamari, that sort of thing. Just to have them all in one place. A uh, folder that I made. Uh, this is kind of a research book, anything I'm considering that I want to do some research and have a place to write it all down and refer to it. That's all in here. Back of that folder. This is an Annika Humby folder. Um, and it is my vocabulary notebook, so words that I have to look up, 
I have not been good about updating this. I really, really need to do that because I, I use a Kindle sometimes to read. And that's great because you can just highlight a book and it saves it in your vocabulary builder. Um, but I haven't updated this notebook in a while. I read a lot. And so I end up with a lot of words that I need to add. This is sermon notes and this is Bible study notes. All right. So my next field notes pocket size one is again kind of that holding thing just like my other confetti dory this is confetti dory i think it's branched was the name of it it's both of these were really old fabrics um and so this has diff past journals when i did journaling prompts uh the lister's got a list challenges those of you who remember those And then I think two Septembers ago, maybe, I decided I was going to do a picture every day in journal. So I have those. Yeah, it must have been two Septembers ago. So these are all kind of old inserts, but it's nice and convenient to have them all together like that so I can look through them when I want to. And then this is another Annika Hamby. This is the Damask, and it's the Sherlock version because it's kind of reverse. You can see how well the leather has patina there. It's really pretty, especially this side that's exposed to the sun more versus the side that's not. And so in here I have some scout book short stories. Just anytime I want to read on the go, I have a notebook taking notes. I used to keep this in my bag with me all the time. If we had time to wait, I'd either read, read some stories to the boys or read to myself. I don't really carry it with me as much anymore, so it's currently just sitting on the shelf. So that's all of the came as traveler's notebooks ones. Let's go into the Filofaxes. This is my patent domino A5, and this is my home management notebook. So, um, stick that back there for now. So this has different tabs at the top. I have my oldest son's school stuff, my youngest son's school stuff, because they're in different schools, because one's in preschool and one's not. I have, um, there's currently not really much in there because we're in summer break. I have my uh, address tab, and so I have family addresses, um, my in-laws addresses, I have medical for our insurance information as well as doctor's contact and utilities with our utility companies and account numbers on there. Then I have one for my shop, my Etsy shop. And so I have a list of, I'm not going to show it because it has personal names, um, but I have, well, I can do like this. I have lists of orders when I get one and I do the date that it was ordered. I put the name and the item um, and then when it's promised by uh, or when it needs to ship by. And then I have expense pages um, here that I keep track of my own expenses as well as income from it, so mostly just for tax purposes, so I can total all that up at the end. And then I have, um, this is kind of like area stuff, so I have um, schedules for our gym and coupons for area attractions, um, those sorts of things back there, just stuff that we might need as a family um, that I might want to reference. So that is how this is set up. And I just added um, some transfer stickers, some rub-on stickers to this to kind of personalize it. And it's held up really well because I did that a while ago and it's still on there just fine. That stays at home though, so it doesn't get a lot of wear. Next, I have my Filofax Malden A5. And this is a Filodori now. I ring this one. And so it is full of different notebooks. Um, this was just some things I was kind of doing some journaling for when we we're doing stuff out and about. I didn't keep up with that as well as I wanted to, but I should. Um, this is different kind of journaling, uh, things that I find that I want to, like if I'm having a bad day, I can reference my humor section right here. Um, just kind of a reference sort of thing to have. I have a bunch of flow journals that came with um, one of the flow magazines. And that's all that's currently in there. I used to have some other notebooks that I took out. 
but that is the current setup in here. As you can see, these are all A5 notebooks and there's plenty of room. I could really pack it full. I just don't use the A5 size that much. Next, I have my uh, Filofax Malden and Ochre in personal size. Again, I have de-ringed this. And so this also stays, uh, this stays downstairs in our kitchen along with the home management notebook. And this has a lot of lists and things in it, like my kids sizing when they're due for doctor's appointments, so I can keep track of that when we are too. Um, ideas of activities at home, cleaning checklists that I've come up with, packing checklists, a lot of lists sort of things. Um, parks, places to eat, just keeping track of my youngest words when he first started talking. I've been doing these notebooks for a while. Uh, bento box ideas for packing kids lunch, favorite recipes, all those sorts of things. Um, this is just my list notebook. For a while I was using this as my main planner, so I've got old planning inserts in there. Um, then just other notebooks from different lists. This is goalkeeping and this was stuff to do with planners. So, that's all of that. Next comes the only other planner that is just kind of a sitting empty with, well, it's not exactly the only other one, but um, it's similar to this Mr. Darcy right here, and that last time I planned in rings was in this right here. It's a Filofax Union Jack personal size, and I have it set up for a Sherlock theme. As you can see, I made the dashboard and all that. And so this is just set up as it was last time it was my main planner. I have a uh, Monthly planning, weekly planning, I guess it was 2015 was the last time I used it for that. Um, to do's, that was my shop. First, when I first started it, uh, mood tracking and random notes. So that is all that. The next two kind of go together. See if I can get those easily. All right. So these are my book and literature uh, planners. So I have this is the Filofax Urban and Slate. Again, personal size. You can see I love personal size. A lot of my planners are in this size. And this is the Tropic and Mahogany. So this one is more of my book log, like where I keep my list of books to read as well as my books that I've read for each year so see the current year I've read 37 books so far and I just do the name of the book the author and what date I finish it here's a to read list I didn't make one for 2017 because I didn't make much progress on 2016 um, and then they're just past years um, the, those records and reading challenges and different things like that in there and this one has a running log. I have A to Z tabs in here. And it's my running book log. And so it has, these are inserts that I had made um, for file effect size. I forgot where I got these inserts. Let's see if I can figure it out. Oh, it's right there. Where was it? Paper Air My Day. Um, and so it has space for title, author, genre, date published, recommended by, date started, date finished, rating, pages, and notes. And so for every book I've read since, I think, 2014, um, I have logs on them. Uh, I stopped for a little while last fall, and I'm trying to get caught back up. I started again a couple of months ago, um, so I've been trying to fill in the in-between. But these get used a lot since I read a lot. And my last one is the Filofax uh, Ochre Malden Pocket. And this is actually one that I listed for sale. I sold both of my minis in this past year. Um, and I had listed this one as well, but apparently it's on sale on Amazon right now. And I don't want to get rid of it. I don't need to sell it. And so I didn't want to drop the price and lose as much money as I would if I made it competitive. Um, so it's currently sitting just with all the inserts I have for sale with it. Um, I thought about maybe de-ringing it, but I already have these two for that size, so I don't know. Right now it's just kind of sitting there and not getting used, but it had been a financial tracker and I just wasn't using it at all, so 
We'll see if it gets sold or if it gets re-ringed or used to another purpose. But that is them. That is all of it. Oh, I guess I should show this is the, um, is this a Recollections brand? I don't know. I think it's a Recollections brand. Um, it's from Michael's, the Pregnancy Journal. So I've been doing that. Um, not always great, um, but... I don't have a lot of stuff to fill in, but it's just another way to keep track, which is fun. So that is now all the planners. I'm going to get them spread out again. I say this every year, but I think there are actually less this time. I think there are fewer, because I know I've sold several, and I don't think that I bought any. Maybe those two maybe are new from last year. I'm not sure, but I know that I sold more than two in the past year. I'll have to go back and compare. All right, I hope this was fun. If, uh, if you have a significant other or friends that go on and on about your collection, maybe you can show this then, to them and let them know that they don't have it as bad. It could be a lot worse. Uh, or maybe it can be goals to get this many, or maybe you have twice as many as me, in which case, please make a video, and I would love to watch it and link it down below. Um, I will try to find setup videos for all of these. Some of them may be kind of outdated, um, but I will do my best to... I'm just realizing that I left one in my office. Um, I also have... Hold on one second. Total fill there, but shocking, it's another personal size. This is my Kate Spade um, Wellesley, and this is my grad school planner. So. I will link that video down below, but it was in my desk drawer, so that's the reason I didn't think about it. Um, but it has, it's what I've used for all of my coursework for the past year. And so, yes, another one to add to the pile there. Wow, that's a lot. All right, so sorry about that, but here we go. You can see all of them again. Um, I will try to remember to link setup videos down below. Again, some of them may be kind of outdated, so let me know if there's any you want to see more in depth, or if I haven't done a setup video or just a more current one, um, please just let me know and I'd be happy to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm out of breath this entire video. I've been running around doing things in the house and trying to get baby gear and everything put together after getting it out of the garage, and there's just not a lot of room for my lungs right now anymore, so... Hopefully this doesn't sound absolutely crazy, but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get it filmed since it is finally July. So I will see you all next time, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.